leather. Strong and durable. Today, we are going to talk about it and the special features of its laser treatment. This is Watson. Have a seat. Make yourself a cup of tea. So, you've decided to do some leather work on your laser. What's the first thing you need to do? Choose it, of course. There are two main categories into which all types of leather are divided, natural and imitation. In each category, there are those that can be worked on laser machines, and each category has its own characteristics that you need to consider. Natural leather, smooth, patent, embossed, nubak, and chamois. Whichever you use, you need to know that natural leather likes moisture and is breathable. That's why it's more comfortable and durable than imitation leather. But when working with it, you need to consider the thickness, dressing, and percentage of moisture content. Imitation leather, less sensitive to chemicals and easy to clean. It also means no animals are used in its production. However, not all types of leatherette can be cut due to their origin. Burning PVC, for example, is toxic and harmful to your health. If you want to work with this type of leather, look at eco leather and polyurethane. For all these reasons, we recommend that you carry out a test cut when you receive each new batch. Let's move on to the cutting process. There are two difficulties to face. Selection of individual settings for each leather type and even a batch. Soot. You can't get rid of it, no matter how hard you try. This is why light-colored leather needs special care. When working with leather, it is best to use neodymium magnets. They are also easy to use on Watson machines as they have an iron honeycomb table. Now, let's look at the complexities of setting. For the experiment, we will use natural leather, patent leather, chamois leather, and crazy horse. Let's see which settings are best for our products. The best settings are speed 10 millimeters per second, power 20%, Airflow, 1.5 atmospheres. Don't forget to use an extractor when working with leather. Otherwise, you may decide to switch to another material because of the smell. Watson machines can save you from this as they have a smoke extraction system. Engraving is the next step. Now we are going to experiment again with different settings. We use natural and imitation leather. You can see the result in this video. The best result has the indicators on the screen. What can we say in the end? Leather is a complex and, one might say, demanding material that requires delicate work. The machine can help you with this. The main thing is to have the right settings, precision, multifunctionality, cutting and engraving in one machine against strong odors. As you can see, there are more pros than cons. Now you can confidently try your hand at cutting and engraving leather. Any other questions? Write in the comments. Give us a like if you found this video useful. This is Watson. See you in the next video.